Today in Matt's class, I am going head to head with Kristen one more time to draw an awesome superhero. challenge today is a superhero. We are going to start with, you know, drawing the skeletal structure and all that, and then coming up with a custom, amazing superhero so people at home can build their own superhero or come up with their own creation. Now, last time you had to get me Taco Bell. It was very yummy. Woohoo! So today... <laughs> <laughs> What's the prize going to be today? We have to figure that out. I think we should do a round of Starbucks. A Starbucks? Okay. Starbucks round. He doesn't know how much I can run up in that tab. Keep that in mind in case I win because I'm going to get a ice cap, frozen frappuccino, salted caramel, whatever. Yeah, we'll large have to just fill up a venti cup. Caramel macchiato. Spicy. I'm going to bring in a bucket and I'm going to say fill it with your delicious Starbucks goodness. All right, here we go. I am gonna start with my stick figure. And normally when drawing a feminine body, you can have one shoulder higher, which puts one shoulder down and one hip up, kind of like this. But I'm actually gonna ignore that today because I wanna do something a little bit more iconic, something a little bit more straightforward, yet it's still gonna be very feminine. Let's do this. Cranium, mandible, slice off a little on the sides. And here is Shoulders, spine coming straight down, rib cage, and I'm gonna have this character that maybe has like light rays coming out of her hands, and maybe she's floating. She's got the power of floating. I wanna bring these shoulders in a little bit, talk about idealizing the figure in some of my previous videos that you can check out. I'm gonna angle the head up a little bit, giving you that, that regal superhero type thing. And since I wanna have like a traditional, I'm going for like a 50s Americana style here. Let's pulling out a nice big swoopy cape. I'm gonna start just by like that single line should give you the movement that you're looking for. One, swish back, swish forward. I'm not drawing with my wrist, I'm drawing with my whole arm to get those nice long lines. Now I'm adding in the meat of the figure, kind of an athletic body. You know, one of the things here, you can see the legs here, I don't have them connecting. It's not because she's a mermaid. <laughs> she's got webbed legs that, they're, that are stuck together. But sometimes whenever you've got, you can kind of see I did it here with the hands. Sometimes I won't actually fully connect all of the lines and it just helps make it look like limbs are kind of closer together. Here we go, go gadget detail. And I'm gonna give her these glowing eyes. I'm not gonna draw in an iris or a pupil. Some kind of suit, maybe she's part of like some kind of team. got this cool spandex kind of outfit that's just got these cool like pieces kind of cut out of it. Very nice chest emblem. Slight facial expression like yeah I save people. What? Exactly. All right so I feel like it would be really cool if she had power that's like emitting from her hands. All right, so I wanna make some cool, like mystical power stuff that's just kind of maybe like light that's emitting from her hands. Maybe it's smoking a little bit. So I'm gonna have this weird kind of glowy thing like this, and then maybe like this crazy smoke kind of scenario. And then to help make it look like it's glowing, I'm gonna have these action lines kind of going towards the middle of her hand. And again, when I'm adding these action lines, I don't want all of these lines to be perfectly the same length, perfectly close to each other. I want it to be random because if it's too perfect, it'll look like bicycle spokes instead of organic magical power. That buckle makes a statement. That buckle is so statement making that people in Dallas are jealous of it. 
I want this super heroine, um, I wanted her to kind of emit the power of light. But right now, because the background is so light, it just looks like she's swallowed up in a blizzard. So by putting a lot of tone in the background, it's definitely gonna make it look like there is power emitting from her hands, kind of igniting everything a little bit more. Now we're gonna make him pop out a little bit more from the background. Now I don't have to go over like every single line again. I'm really focusing more on things that didn't have a whole lot of detail to begin with, or that outside edge. You want that silhouette nice and solid. I'm chunking up those boots a little bit. His feet were a little on the dainty side. Little tip with shading. Uh, if you have a hard time stopping on a dime, it is easier to start on the area you're trying to protect and pull away from it. Often overshadowed by his older brother, Larry Knievel made a motocross accident as he crashed into a radioactive puddle and realized once upon gaining his superpowers, he no longer even had to consider changing the outfit. I like it. This adds a little bit more tone here, so this is looking pretty good. You know what, it's not dark enough. I really want the light emitting from our hands to be blazing. So I drew in all these lines going this way. I'm gonna cross hatch. I'm gonna do a bunch of lines just to make that tone in the background stand a little bit darker. So if I'm trying to move up an item, I can start by making like the slight color correction. Like this, I'm putting the new top a little bit higher than the old one. Now I don't have to erase the entire thing, just erase the parts you don't like. So then if I want to make that belt huge, I can. For me, it's easier to visualize what a solid object is looking like if it's colored in a little bit more. I tend to draw a lot with shapes and chunks of color versus individual little lines. She's like, it's oh, not. She's cool. It's not really Dazzler. It's what's a good name for her? The Light Sister, Lumina. What? Lumina. There you go, Luminista. And I think it really helped that I put that tone in the background. Definitely yeah. looks nice with the, the contrast there. All right, I'm ready to see what you got going on over here. Oh wow! You know, it kind of almost looks like Buzz. Like it, the the costume doesn't look like Buzz Lightyear, but I feel like this is uh, this would be Buzz Lightyear's favorite superhero. I love the fact, like, I think a common mistake that amateur artists do when they draw a superhero, the cape will just be coming down like this. And you can still have a cool drawing like that, but the fact that you chose to have the cape going over like this, it's like without even saying you have wind or drawing wind particles in the air, it's just like the fact that the cape is doing that adds so much to it. Okay, so James, uh, lay it on me. Uh, who is getting Starbucks? This is the Turbo Man from Jingle All The Way that <laughs> the world needed. It's fair. All right, hopefully you guys got some good tips on how you guys can draw your own superhero. Thank you, that was great. Of course. All right, come back next time. Actually, in the next video, I am gonna show you guys how to draw framing heights. So come back for that. Ah!